Austria, home of Vegemite, that big red rock and an unparalleled supply of deadly nature. Come over for a trip, see the Great Barrier Reef, the Sydney Opera House or get nibbled on by a shark. Except that's not Austria, it's Australia. Similar though their names are, one is a continent completely surrounded by the sea, the other a small mountainous country with not one saltwater port to its name. They're also over 12,000 kilometers apart, which means when Vienna puts the champagne in the fridge, Canberra already celebrates New Year's. Different as these two may be, mix-ups still happen. And not just to the ignorant or uneducated. Whether it's a news channel, US president or UN secretary general, everyone gets it wrong sometimes. Hey man. You're from Austria, right? Yep. Ever seen any kangaroos? Sure. We have this thing where I'm from, where you pay a few bucks and then you can watch kangaroos all day long. Wow. It's called a zoo. And it doesn't stop there. Send a letter from not Europe to Austria and there's a non-zero chance it'll go to Australia instead. To prevent any confusion, just write Austria, Europe on the envelope. You know, just to be sure. Wait a second. If these countries are so different, how come their names are nearly identical? Well, actually, they're not. Nonsense! They clearly shh. Austria's name in its official national language of German is Österreich. A good reminder that English country names and their local counterparts can vary wildly. As inhabitants of Germany, Hungary, Finland, China, Japan, both Koreas and a bunch of other countries will happily tell you. Back in the long long ago of medieval Europe, Austria is still called Markia Orientalis, the eastern borderland, as in east of Bavaria, and only includes a Slovenia sized piece of land along the Danube. But Markia Orientalis is Latin, spoken only by the noble and pious, so the people just Germanized that into Osterichi, and through centuries of territory gains and losses, dukes, kings, emperors and lots of nobility inbreeding, that name pretty much sticks, but morphs into the even harder to pronounce Österreich. Internationally, that's no good. Non-German speakers need an option to say the name without dislocating their jaws. So they go with the Latinized Austria instead. Australia as a whole only gets a name when Dutch sailors stumble upon this continent sized heap of land and christen it New Holland. Name it though they do, due to some imaginative yarn spinning the Dutch expect mountains of gold and treasure there and when it turns out neither will be found yet. They are so bitter with disappointment that they decide to just not settle there at all. This leaves the continent open to the British, who upon arrival make no such mistake and promptly combine the needs for expansion and relieving overcrowded prisons to colonize the place with thousands of convicts. Now that the continent is in British hands, New Holland won't do anymore. To come up with a new name, the British reach into the shoebox of antiquity and pull out Terra Australis, the name of a legendary huge continent that should be somewhere in the southern hemisphere. By 1824, European sailors have crossed the southern hemisphere far and wide, but come up short on that large landmass in the south. I'm right here! So the British, not willing to let a perfectly good name go to waste, use it for the closest thing to Terra Australis they know. And at the stroke of a quill, New Holland becomes Australia. So you see, no connection there. Well, barely any connection. Because back in 1606, the year the Dutch first land on the shores of Australia Fair, Spanish sailors discover an island in the South Pacific, now a part of Vanuatu, they believe to be Terra Australis. They claim it for the Spanish crown, and in honor of the Spanish king, descendant of the Austrian house of Habsburg, called the island Australia del Espiritu Santo. But in a time without auto spell check, first the I in there goes missing, and eventually only the Espiritu Santo part of the name survives. Concealing that centuries ago, these two oft confused names merged to mark a Vanuatuan island. To conclude, Austria is a small alpine country in Central Europe, and Australia is a continent sized country separating the Indian Ocean from the South Pacific. The names only vary by two letters, both refer to compass directions, one to the south, one to the east, while an island that is not part of Australia was initially named Australia after Austria by Spaniards looking for Terra Australis. End screen. If you like this video and want to support me in making more like it, you can do so on Patreon. In exchange, you get access to updates, wallpapers and illustrations, and you can even get your name into these here credits. That's all, thank you and goodbye.